come along with me as I sketch some cutesy rats together. I have not done traditional paper or traditional drawing in quite some time. I've done a lot of digital lately and I've just been inspired to get in touch with traditional media. Pencil and paper has always been my favorite and is my first love of art. I've always been drawing since around first grade and since then I just kept at it. I mean there's definitely been months where I just didn't do it so much and there's been times where I just fell in love with it again. And I'm hoping now that I'm doing art more often and setting some goals that I can draw more and spend some time showing that off. Now I'm not the best character drawer or animal drawer even, so don't be too hard on me. I am pretty rusty and filming from above is still kind of interesting to me because I can't hold the paper exactly how I would want it at an angle or maybe sitting on the couch, it feels very more rigid, but I really actually like how these guys turned out. For inspiration, I of course used Pinterest and just typed in cute rats, and I took some inspiration from there. I saw a, a rat with a chef's hat, I saw a rat eating spaghetti, I saw a princess rat, and they were just so cute and it really made me want to have a pet rat but that is not possible with four cats and i just don't have the time to take care of another animal um but i decided to just start with a regular rat and then draw the pasta eating rat because i thought that was super cute i love going in with a red sketch pencil at first and then defining everything with just with a regular hb pencil and I like these lead filled pencils for some reason more. It makes it feel like you're using a real pencil versus a mechanical pencil and they don't break as easily even though I do end up breaking mine <laughs> in some part of this video. I would love to turn one or a couple of these into a 3D model and that's really my goal lately is trying to incorporate both traditional and 3D art because I find both very relaxing and a lot of fun and there's a different advantages to both. I love traditional because you can really feel the material you're using. Um, you don't have as many chances to correct your mistakes so you kind of have to learn to go with the flow. But like digital just opens a whole, whole new realm and I feel like you can do things that you never could do before, especially with Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. Procreate, I can feel like I can actually paint and do an illustration versus I have no idea or have the time to really use gouache, I think you pronounce it, or illustration markers that can be so expensive. So I know having the iPad is expensive in the beginning, but if you can afford that, you can try out so many different types of apps on there for art and do anything you really want to on there. And I love Nomad Sculpt because it can create these little creatures can come to life and feel like they're 3D and I can understand the body shapes better because sometimes when you're trying to draw different perspectives on animals it can get a little confusing and it's definitely difficult for me to find the right angle and if I don't draw it correctly I get kind of upset and I usually want to just scrap the whole drawing so I'm trying to be a little bit more relaxed with myself I know these drawings are more elementary than you know uh, traditional like real realism but you know I like the cuteness I like the simplicity of them and it just makes it uh, drawing a little bit easier I don't have to focus on perfection and that has been like the hardest obstacle for me is trying to be perfect when I don't need to be or there's no need to be um, which I just said but <laughs> It just feels like I can forget my worries, forget my everything during the day, and just kind of just let go and draw. And it can turn out however I want it to. If I want it to be perfect, I can try a little bit better and come back to it. Or I can just leave it how it is and, you know, I'm just filling the sketchbook. As you can see, I, could use, I used it for multiple of things. I like to write in it. I like to sketch in it. Um, it's just a kind of catch-all. My sketchbooks are not fancy or filled with amazing drawings. Some of them I'm just like, ooh, what is that? Like, who put that there? Oh wait, it was me. 
So if you like one of these drawings or would like to see one of them a little bit more um, perfected, perfected is not the right word, I just can't think of um, the word right now. I want to say rustic, that is not right either, or made into a 3D model, let me know in the comments below and anything you struggle with as an artist or a beginner artist in a different media. Um, if you struggle with uh, perfectionism and just letting go and doing the art for fun, let me know in the comics comics comments below. And lastly, I decided to draw a winter Santa wearing Santa hat wearing rat, not a Santa wearing hat. Oh, rat! Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you like this video, nice and short, just showing off some of my art process and which rat is your favorite. So I hope you like this. Check out my other videos if you like 3D sculpting or somebody learning a new skill. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!